Britain is back in his commentary seat. Tariq, I can't believe it's been a year. Nice to have you along once again. Looking forward to a wonderful Easter festival as we have become accustomed to in this part of the world. What a fabulous day it's turned out to be and excitement, excitement. Uh, as you come into town, you can hear the people talking about the tournament. It's actually very good. A little bit of a wind outside, as usual. This is what we normally get in Saldana. And teams, especially for the debutants, they need to become aware of this wind. Quite a vicious wind. So we'll see how it's going to go. But apart from that, wonderful day. Yeah, you know, we, we have so many decorated players, provincial players, but we also have to talk about the coaches. And uh, one man that I want to single out, Elroy Lichman, who takes charge of progress, is a man that played Craven Week Rugby for Western Province in 1999 and 2000, SA Schools Academy in 2001, SA Junior, or rather 2000, SA Junior World Cup in Chile in 2001. He played 114 matches for Eastern Province and he was captain of dispatch in the Community Cup. It was known as the Community Cup back then. A, a decorated man and here he is investing his time in a club rugby. Great to see. I had a chat with him earlier on and I, I must say it's, it's palpable, the excitement, the enthusiasm. He's looking forward to yeah, making some kind of stand in this tournament. Also special time for the referees, the assistant referees. Lee Birk is a familiar name as well in these parts. He takes charge of our first match. Also great uh, to see them. Without referees, we won't have a game in any case. So good uh, to see Mr. Birk here as well and the rest of the officiating team. We're about to get started. Uh, progress, just the team sheet. Like I said, a lot of experience in this squad specifically. Eastern Province Sevens players, academy players, schools players, uh, players that have been involved in the Eastern Province structures. And you will get to, to meet some of them as we go through the tournament. Bella Vista as well. Some uh, Buellant under 21 players. If you look at uh, Jamil Miller, a Buellant under 20 player. Buellant elite squad for Neil Ardendorf who will play off the bench. And then another man to look out for, Elron McLeod. Grand Como week, under 17 week, uh, Craven week for Boiland. Also made a, a turn in Dubai for under 19 rugby. So there's a, a lot yes. of uh, great names that will be looking to uh, catch the eye of uh, someone out there as well. As we get the festival started and immediately a mistake. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's not the way they would have wanted to start Bella Vista. Definitely not. You can see that's nerves. That's early, early nerves. Lay down there, that was a straightforward kick. Should have caught it. Definitely the nerves. Stay there. Perfect. Well done. It's also the, the, the wind can be quite tricky and, and deceiving at times as well. So, um, yeah, that's also definitely something. So you'll see Gideon Sarfontaine who's backing down in the middle of that progress scrum. He's with jersey number 24 and just a, a little funny story before the match he got his number 2, put it on and he said no, this jersey is too small, I'm not going in 2, I'm going in 24. So there he is in the middle of that scrum, the anchor, Gideon Sarfontaine, 104 kilograms, Brandbach Hoerschwil, that's where he matriculated. One of their most decorated players also made a turn at the Pumas. Pumas, the Curry Cup champions. He played under 20 rugby for them. Also, Blue Bulls under 20. Played UJ in Varsity Cup. What a, what a product the Varsity Cup has become, Tariq. It's been pretty eventful. Look at what happened to Tux throughout uh, this season. They've been relegated. So it's just a, a wonderful competition. What a wonderful feeding base for South African rugby. Of course, and for, for me, what's most exciting about it is that these players are getting exposure. Fine. You know, players are getting seen. If you take this tournament here, uh, we have Shilton, Shilton Van Wake playing in the, in the blitz box at the moment. So, yeah, the Varsity Cup as well as this one, giving the people necessary exposure. First scrum well, was so messy, but uh, still protected by progress. And it is the nuggety scrum of Edwards who will feed and two mistakes early on. The fence being tested for Balavista will want to rectify the earlier mistake with a good powerful scrum just outside the 22. Certainly taking a while for them to settle down. When you get hardly two minutes and this is now what second scrum that they have in the so let's hope this one can get the game going now. Darshan Erasmus will feed this one for Balavista. He goes by the name Blitzbock. Talking about the Blitzbox, and you make a good point about Shilton. And I remember commentating with uh, Shilton von Beek being on this very field. And look how far he's gone into that Blitzbox setup. And they in Singapore this weekend talking about the, the Springbok 7s team. Big scrum, big statement that from Balavista. You'll know all about the statements in the scrum, Tariq. 
that's exactly the way they would have wanted to push those blue machine back they're here to play they're here to make a name and they're here to show that they belong it really doesn't matter what people say you know the engine in front that's where everything happens and you know what once that happens it filters right down from number one straight back to number in fact to number 25 include the coaches as well so the left foot will i spoke about the wind and the wind will certainly be a factor throughout the course of the afternoon and the early evening as well we are going to be busy until uh, late tonight but this is rugby and i'm sure we're going to have a, a packed stadium by the time Saldana Bay get onto the field. So first line out then, it is Cheswell Miller who will feed this line. He goes by the nickname of Ches. Nicely taken and secured at the front of the line out. Now maybe an opportunity for uh, the line to, to put their hands on the ball. That's Messi still backwards, says the referee. Not the way they would have started. First man in the picture, Archie Hans, the captain of uh, this blue outfit. Defense will certainly be tested by uh, Bella Vista once again as they move towards the 22. It is Diego Swartz who will take the contact. Not really going anywhere. Defense has manned up nicely. It's uh, Durin Nassen who you know very well, Tarek. Still the danger signs is there. Stretches towards the line just short. Good opportunity goes to waste for progress. Now the advantage being played by Ripley Beckers, and that turns into a penalty advantage for the tackler not rolling away basic mistakes for progress maybe just still the nerves settling down getting into the moment i i reckon so um remember this is a this is a bit of a step up for them as well this tournament has become quite the tournament as far as club club rugby is concerned and yeah there's definitely the nerves i would think i'm glad you, you, you speak about the tournament's evolution of course we have netball being added to the program from saturday saturday and sunday um saturday and monday we have 16 netball teams coming into this festival that was never part of it so it just shows how we've developed over time and the reach that this tournament has got reaching out to gauteng now with raiders also coming all the way to saldana bay over this easter festival so the, the cream of club rugby in these parts and now almost in south africa all getting together and hopefully this can uh, continue to be the case as we move forward into 2024 and beyond it's very evident to see that Bella Vista, they like their back of forwards. This is where they're going to set that foundation. But they've got to probably use this back line as well, set up a, a platform. Well gathered there by the left wing, Lindsay Potgieter for progress. The contest is good and Bella Vista will be there to make a mess for a progress. They'll make it very tough in that contact area. The carrier is Miller. Loud whistle from referee Berkus. Side entry is the call. Five this this too far out to have a shot at goal. We'll uh, soon find out what progress thinks about the wind and the factor of the wind. Five minutes gone in the first half. First match of four. First there, the, the carry was a bit lazy from the cleaners, and then the side entry to try and protect the ball. You can clearly see that uh, the transgression the came from ball. Bella Vista. That will frustrate Jonathan Fredericks, who's the head coach of uh, Bella Vista, team manager Louis Jamak. And it is the scrum half, Darian Edwards, who will line this one up. Product of Daniel Pinar, played Eastern Province at uh, junior level, under 15, under 17, under 18, under 20, and under 21. The season campaign and knows all about the pressure situation one of the seniors that will show the way. Distance should definitely not be a problem here. He's got a massive wind behind his back. See the focus there as well. It's a good strike. Easily got the distance, but the direction unfortunately lacking. So it remains scoreless. It's almost seven minutes. Uh, gone in this uh, opening fixture of the Transnet Saldana Super 8 Easter Rugby Festival. <laughs> Just heard in Afrikaans that one player from Bella Vista said, come in game. So the message is clear. Come guys, step up. We are playing rugby. We haven't made a good start here. Let's get our heads in the game. Bulky center, that's a nice pass. Flat pass and well gathered by Michael DeForce. Here he goes again, it's Edwards feeding the line. 
And they want to create that uh, tackle area, which they do well. Edwards will get another go and feed it off to Davids. Davids with a nice power run. Edwards, short pass with the bulk being added. Well, he scored them off and they haven't listened, Bella Vista, so that's a bit naughty. Again, Jonathan Fredericks won't be happy with that. Discipline will be key in these fixtures. Jacobs. Can they make something yeah. of this ball no position? The answer is no. A lot of basic errors. The game just struggling to get going, Tarek. Definitely, it, it just looks like they're weight. taking a longer time to settle and get down into the game. One has to ask oneself, why why would it take so long? I mean, I know this is a step up, but it's just that we're getting the players to do basic, basic mistakes. So, another shot coming. This one in distance is slightly shorter than his earlier efforts, but uh, Darren Edwards showed in his previous kick that distance was no problem. He could probably g give it a good thumb from the halfway line if needed, but uh, now an opportunity to get that scoreboard going. Scoreboard pressure is always a good thing. Can he convert? The blue tape on his legs, all blue, is uh, Edwards. Do me a favor, go on Born the, in Kariga, the then the Eastern Cape. The defensive line. Um, the reason being is the, the ruck. Well, why it's interesting that they've. this is their second scoring opportunity now. Um, it, it would definitely be a boost for them, seeing that they're struggling a bit in the scrums. So should this one be... It's a better strike, ah. and this time the ARs, the assistant referees, like it. They've got unanimous flags up, and that is our first score in the 2023 uh, Translate uh, Super 8 uh, series and it comes from the boot of Darian Edwards 3-0 to progress no problem, get up, thank you. probably deserved that lead they've had the, the bulk of the, the possession in the opening 10 minutes yes, sir. Okay, so no, 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 no. Keenan Vessels is the fly-off, but he's uh, not the man that is taking the kicking responsibilities. That belongs to the fullback Jared Monis. Well gathered by uh, Progress. Edwards, short pass. Oh, that's a lovely run onto the ball by Gideon Sarfontein. And he has some wheels as well, the long ball, but no one there. Should have probably held on to it, Gideon Sarfontein. He'll probably wish that he had another go at that uh, and, and just regather himself. The long pass was not needed at that stage, but showed a, a clean pair of heels, Gideon Sarfontein. 104 kilograms through the gap. That uh, the execution there was lacking. One, one has to wonder if, if the fact that they have, you know, they're surrounded by television cameras the first time they're on, on this stage, if that's not perhaps also hampering and, and influencing the, you know, the nerves, taking a bit longer to settle down. Curtly Daisel, product of uh, Daniel Pinard and Uffer Crane, also played some rugby at, in the Pumas. It's a good throw this from uh, the hooker, Chesville Miller. Opportunity now for Balavista goes astray. Now it's uh, the chase is coming on to the ball. Who's going to be there first? Almost fell perfectly for Keanu Buerta, the right wing for progress. Referee Bierke says, let's play on. But lateral from Balavista needs to straighten the line. They can create a, a bit of an overlap there. Pa should have gone, but he probably realized that Chesville Miller was on his outside. He wasn't going to go too far. Finally, the danger will be cleared, and uh, well, it's still progress. They set up camp in the half of Bella Vista. Well, it's interesting to see that um, progress is trying to keep the pressure on on Bella Vista. Bella Vista is having to make all the all the covers and all the defending at the moment. Um, definitely the wind also an, an, an aspect but it's good to see that um, that progress is, is keeping the pressure on where does the throw go it's through the back of the line out tapped over and that gives the cover defense enough time to get there again told to get off at Bella Vista more discipline issues for the men in the white jerseys referee Beck is trying his best to get the game flowing but not happening for him at the moment 
Oh, well, here will be another opportunity for Dan Edwards to go for poles. So that wind behind him, in fact, this will be straight to the poles as far as the wind direction is concerned. So just inside Bella Vista's half, about 10 meters in. And Edwards will Cappy. have his third opportunity at goal. <laughs> 13 minutes is uh, tick by in the first half. Johan, we mentioned earlier on the evolution of the tournament. It's also good to notice that one of the ARs is uh, a female, Lisa Stanfleet, making her de debut here. And just shows you that this tournament, how it has progressed. And got to give a top, top pat of the back to the, to the organizers for the, the vision that they have in getting all these things uh, to materialize. Can't agree with you more, Tariq. We've been privileged to, to see this evolution over time. We've been part of this tournament from the start. What will Edwards do? Again, distance won't be a problem. Gives it a lot of air, and it's going to fly over. So Edward shows that uh, you'll be ill-advised to transgress in your own half because uh, with this wind he certainly has the distance and two out of three for the scrum half from progress and that has given his team a 6-0 lead after 14 minutes well, Bella Vista haven't settled they need to regroup position will be key from this kick with nice hanging one into the wind and here is the chance they've been waiting for well you can't lift that man brought down safely lucky for progress uh, good execution at the end advantage over and advantage is over bulky run and the man takes it into the 22. now bella vista will come from deep they've got the the advantage from the referee as well the left wing for bella vista's tackle into touch that's brian stainer not enough advantage finally they've got a, an opportunity to get off their seats they they've been watching this uh, onslaught from progress but finally their team has some good front fruit ball in fact first time of the game that they in the uh, red zone so which is good but he that uh, you know the wing didn't come back and play the ball to the inside uh, got himself in in the five Matt meter field. radius and then obviously tackled out Brian Stainder Bokes is his uh, nickname, product of Worcester Secondary. Straight in front, Tariq, this shouldn't be a problem, but very important to put the points on the board for Keenan Vessels. His first kick of the match is uh, 34 meters, meters out, but it's straight in front. Also can't really agree with the distance because uh, it's <laughs> a bit closer than the 34 meters, undoubtedly, inside the 22 smack in front I would reckon that's about 20 meters nice positive strike and that is what the doctor ordered Bella Vista on the board for the first time in uh, this tournament debutant 6-3 in uh, favor of progress we've had 16 minutes in the first half yeah it was no this is a bit uh, too long and no chases oh that's high that's very high dangerous tackle look to be the left wing lindsay potgitter he might be called in for a bit of a chat the referee says no a, a penalty is sufficient that's the the last thing you do want to see and having just conceded points that's naughty from progress yeah most definitely um you know the game is that everybody is trying to make the game safer for everyone um however you know it's bound there's bound to be the the odd one or two in fact a couple of more high tackles i'm talking about high tackles we'll get to it now just an opportunity to to look at this again well as you can see that's definitely a, a, you know, he didn't even attempt to go lower a lot of talk behind closed doors about the tackle height now uh, at amateur rugby and, and schoolboy rugby possibly being adjusted towards the chest level i'll be curious to find out your thoughts on that Tariq. 
But uh, in, before we get there, let's just uh, have a look at what Bondage. happens and, and plays out. Two knocks, so Mr. Beakers can't really let that go. So we'll go back and reset with the scrum. Your, your opinion about the, the tackle height adjustment? I, I fully agree with it. If one looks at, at junior rugby, you know, there's still the tendency in terms of the tackle, as we could just saw earlier on, to, to go high. So enforcing it that, you know, the players have to go lower. It's, it's a safer option, and also it's a more effective way of tackling as well. Crouch. 100% success rate for both teams. It's scrum time. Blind. Darian Edwards. He's been uh, busy and prominent in this first 18 minutes. And that goes down and immediate call from referee Bierkes. He's not going to allow a reset. And that's actually good to see as well. Let's compliment the referee on that. So many times you see reset scrums. The transgression was there, penalty awarded, positive play. The game needs to continue. You know, it, it's important. And uh, as you can see there, um, definitely going down on, on from, from the Blue Jersey side. Nico Kilian has been punished there, dropping the scrum. So having absorbed all the pressure in the first 15 minutes, last three and four minutes has belonged to Bella Vista and they have another opportunity to attack this, uh, this progress defensive line. Need a, a good clean ball off the line out and that they'll get no competition from progress. It was caught inside the five meter line. Now that is a free kick. So that's again a, a naughty transgression. Having done all the hard work, you give it away so easily. There was no competition coming from progress. And uh, this man, Jacobs, needs no second invitation to have a run. Ball's available. Edwards, the short ball, the, the pods. Somewhat lazy off a standing start. So they're going backwards at speed. Is uh, the kicking game going to come out or will they continue to give it air? There's your answer. They'll use the win. The balance is favorable to progress as well and that gives their cover defense an opportunity to arrive. The man there, Diego Schwartz. Counter ruck comes in from the blue jersey. Still under the white feet. Leave it. Taken back. Taken back. So now he can't kick directly into touch. Let's this ball hang into the air and against the wind here goes Edwards shows that he's got a, a lovely step as well Tackle now, White, good busy player all round uh, abilities this by Edwards now too many penalties this will be the discussion guilty party this time was uh, Francois Adam I like no the fact that Jeffrey Bugas is constantly talking to the players you know telling them before the time what to do and not to do well, you can see, clearly see there's no daylight, so what you want there is the tackle player or the tackler just showing the daylight, going in again, grabbing the ball, but he never gave the opportunity for progress to place that ball, and that's the reason for the penalty. And the whole daylight uh, scenario is basically is to let the game, you know, to give the advantage to the player who has the ball, and also to let the game flow. You know, we don't want the stop, start, stop, start all the time. Important line out for Gideon uh, Sarfontaine. Balavista saying that it's going to go to the back. They're calling it towards the back. And that's exactly where we're going. Well, they saw that coming. Lucky to get that back. And it's again very disrupted for progress. Edwards, lovely run. Straight run from Samuel Jacobs. I've seen a lot of Jacobs and Edwards in this match so far. Maybe an opportunity for the right wing, Keanu Guerta. He cuts back towards the traffic. Edwards has a, a couple of options towards his left. Archie Hans, the captain, takes it up. But the cover defense is waiting for him. All going backwards at the moment. Here goes Jacobs again. More! calls. It's not going to come out there. Good defensive effort this by Bellavista. Well, it shows you the awareness of the rules, you know, by keeping the, keeping the ball up and keeping the ball carrier up, having a nice turnover there. So let's see what we're going to have with the scrum now. If um, progress is going to, if they've had a little chat, you know, behind the, behind the scenes in terms of what they can do with the scrums. Because they, they will have to, you know, it's so important that, we, that they get the scrums right. This is the foundation, the basis of where everything starts. They will have to get this right. A lot of players will say, Tariq, it all starts up front. This is, you can't win a game if it doesn't happen up front. Fine. Set. Important throw for Darshan Erasmus. Again, they have the heat on blue. And a penalty earned. Well, it's very clear and obvious. This is the threat from a Bella Vista perspective. It's going to come from the, the pack of forwards. 
High fives all around and well deserved. Most definitely well deserved. And as as they say, it's going to be a long day in, at the office for for progress. You know, welcome to Cape Town. It's basically that. As you can see, this, this scrum just totally disintegrated. I, I did so notice as they packed down, down, I did notice there wasn't that tightness, the tight bind in the front row. You know, and all these things are little little things that, uh, yeah. that you know, makes it a bit easier. And if you look at the weight advantage, Bella Vista certainly does not have the weight advantage in, in, the, in the front row. Packing down 105 kilos, 97 and 110. That's their front row against 120, 104 and 128. So it shows technique is, uh, is yeah, more important than the weight that you bring. Well, well, as, 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 as you can see, the, the, uh, the Bella Vista pack is just going down as one. This time there is right. a, a contest from Progress, but uh, can't stop the fact that it's a clean ball off the top for Bella Vista. The long double skip pass is kind, kindly accepted by uh, Brian Steinder, playing in the left wing jersey and operating on the right. Not a lot of room to maneuver there for Bella Vista. But it is another yep. clean ball, and it is uh, Erasmus who will feed it off. Good defense by Progress, and again the cover is somewhat slow to arrive there. <laughs> Penalty awarded. Anna, Hands on the deck. That's <laughs> what the referee is yeah, saying. Yeah, but he least then he got onto his feet. Unlucky. That was that was naughty. Hands in the oh, ruck hands. again, and I think this is the hands third penalty that's back. coming from hands in the ruck. Pretty soon, I think the ref may have to consider taking a card and just to make it a bit more official. You don't want you don't want that kind of uh, uh, breakup in, in in the game. First quarter of the match is something of the past. Six three. We've had penalties. If you've just joined us, two from Progress and one from Bella Vista. Successful kicks at goal. Look, that's a bit of a concern. Seven penalties against one. Just outside the 22, this is where Chisel Miller will feed the front and again a good successful execution. Now this bus will start to operate and this is where they have that strike force, they've broken away, it's a detach. And we advance because they threw the ball away, so it's not what Bella Vista wants. Well, they will definitely rue this opportunity. It's it's about the third time that they're only entering the opposition's 22, and then they messed it up there again. You can clearly see the detach happened there, Tariq. And, and there you just wanted a clear head, get rid of the ball, and then move that back line into space. Okay. They, they're still the rush progress. You know, the progress is still rushing things. They need to just slow it down a bit. Uh, they're playing a, a, into a strong wind. So the idea is when you have the ball up front, slow the process down. You know, slow and keep everybody under the one blanket under the one umbrella so i have something for you to think about what's this wind worth in points if you were the captain now ideally 17 minutes left with with a good wind at, at, the, at your backs what do you want to turn with ideally keep that thought and i would like to, to see where you are going on the scoreboard they're going to use uh, Gideon Sarfontein once again bulky runner edwards has a, a double skip past in there jacobs running at an angle cover defense very slow to react holding on and great defensive work compliments to durin nassen product of so willand lundbo well durin durin is the player that i uh, mentioned earlier on he's he's one of the he won the player of the tournament uh, last year for for in willand provincial player he was released he is one of their star players so watch number 13 watch him definitely want to watch for this tournament Here, ne? durin Masson. Four, 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 four. So what the referee is calling is the numbers and the line out. Yeah, let's my four call and come with the yellow line stand and two break the Let me the correct numbers go for another keyboard to penalize. All right. So four men just the call adapt to the four numbers. Again, I like this referee. I like Mr. Beakers. He's clear in his communication. And it is the team throwing it's their responsibility to call the numbers and the, the, the defensive team to adapt after that uh, good uh, good positive run by lorenko jumath uh, what can they do with this position standing start would want something to do someone to attack that line lazy out of the tackle Michael DeForce has been pinned. Both, both players, like. 
that's uh, that's Masson going the down. <coughs> As you can see, he's quite slow to get out of there. And I guess, Tariq, it's, it's probably just where he's rolling to. He's, he's rolling, rolling into that channel. He needs to go left or right, and he needs to do that quickly. But he's, 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 he's doing the opposite, and he's taking away the, the, the scrum off's space, okay, okay. and that's the reason for the penalty. All positional awareness, Johan. Um, players have to react a little bit faster to get out of the way. It, it's, it's so important, and that's the time that the, that the defense, defending side can also take advantage of. Miller again uncontested from progress. Another transgression from the line-out. This time it's not straight. So now they have the option scrum or line out. It's interesting to see that they're calling the scrum. They've, they've had the heat on their scrum progress, but yet that, this is where they're going to go. You know, um, Bella Vista is definitely going to rule this come half time. And you mentioned earlier on that advantage of that wind. Every time that they've come to the red zone of uh, progress, there's been a turnover penalty and they've lost uh, uh, they've handed the ball over literally handed it over on a platter they're going to regret this Set. so progress just outside the 22 which means if they want to kick they can't kick directly into touch there comes that heat again this time penalty awarded to a progress running around the corner quick tap comes from Archie Hans he's seen enough Decided that the kick is not sufficient anymore. We're going to play with ball in hand. And running away from the support runners. That earns Balabi star penalty. I'm a line all right to the ball. Holding on. Definitely an unplanned, just an instinctive reaction to I taking that tap. Even though it was in his own 22. One would have expected with this win behind him that he would have given it to a kicker, possibly putting them down. It would have still been their ball, their possession. So. Fine. Naughty, naughty with those hands in there as well. Did he, did he have control? Did he have rights to that ball? Did, was he on the ball? But um, we'll go with Mr. Bierke's decision because it was first arriving player. Cover defense was very slow to react for progress. Again, they go to the front. This has been uh, their preferred method. Again, not straight. Again, it's an action replay of what we've seen a, a minute ago. And there'll be a bit of a debate here. This is uh, unfortunate for Bella Vista. Second, second fourth within two minutes within a two minute space. I think probably that jersey has probably he's changed that jersey back again to number two. He should have stayed with the 24. Has any hooker ever agreed with uh, an assistant referee saying that it's not straight in the lineup? I doubt it, and they'll probably have a debate afterwards. Chase Paul Miller, not too impressed with that call. Position has it's been 50 50, and it's also interesting to note because. Uh, Progress have got the wind at their backs. Haven't made the most of their opportunities, as has Bella Vista. Well, despite this powerful scrum, they've, they've struggled to put phases together. Set. As we approach the half an hour mark. Another important set piece for progress. Much better scrum and picked up at the base from uh, Hans. The kick and chase, easy for Bella Vista. Defense does arrive. Oh. Where they go? Does it open up here for Bella Vista? Lovely! Oh, it was a perfect ball, and uh, unfortunately not adding to this uh, positive play. Yet another mistake from Bella Vista. Well, finally, after 30 minutes, we seem to be having a little bit more action. Maybe a touch in front of uh, Jared Manus. Still probably something, a, a ball that he should have held on to. It must be very encouraging for uh, progress, the, the previous scrum that they held up and that they managed to get the ball up quicker, which is, which is what I would suggest that they will do again. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Tarek. Hans to pick up off the base and, and try Fine. and set up that, that phase, first phase, second phase ball. You can hear the psychological, the, the psychological warfare that's happening. Bella Vista just saying, no, we don't care, you can put the ball in, this is our ball. Your ball is our ball as well. Also that, uh, notes to the referee. Ref, just please, they, they, they're scrumming early. So just a mental note, something to look out for. It's all part of the fun and games out there. Fine. Sit. It was very important feed. Again, the heat comes from Bella Vista. And a knock on. Yeah. 
if one looks and becomes a bit a, into it technical if, if you look at the the uh, progress you know the, the the front row completely loose there's no tight binding the locks is not the locks as the name suggests should really lock and the, the tightness should come from them if they are not the ones guiding the front row in terms of how to bind because you can see it's quite evident that the entire the front row of progress is, is there's not the tight binding but that's where the lock is supposed to uh, assist perhaps in a case like this i would suggest that even the flankers should push a little bit in from sides because the the, the, the props are just you know they're just disappearing and Set. splitting up oh well, they're not going to release this they will be ill-advised to do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. It just it just left the eight man's feet. Still an opportunity for Balavista. Did that go forward? The referee says no. No advantage. Funny foot off. It's better for the penalty. Penalty does come. It was very clear. The, the message, this is going to be a, a difficult afternoon for progress. If they don't put their phases together at scrum time, they, they are in a bit of trouble. They know in a, in a heck of a, in a, heck of a uh, spot of trouble. Um, yes, they sir. seem to be showing signs Save of a yeah. comeback, um, regrouping, yeah. so and they have a good scrum, well not a good scrum, but a, the, uh, an average, average scrum where they can get the balls out, and then just the following scrum, then everything just so falls, falls apart. So it, it, you know, it would appear to me that the lead, whoever's leader in the pack there is obviously not strong enough to keep the guys together, because this is the time here where your character should, should be able to come out. Well, this could be a, a big strike for Bella Vista. If they can make something from this field Five. position. They're inside Five the 22. They haven't been here too often. Short line out called as well. Let's Just hope he can get the ball straight this time. Oh, it will be three in a row if he doesn't. So this is better execution. Sack is fine. We're allowed to sack that. Uh, Contact made. Play. Contact was made there. Out and here we go. Finally, this is where they want to be. Now they can bring all off. their forwards together. Breakaway does come from the hooker. Still good ball Take for Bella Vista. Taken up by Lorenzo Bur. Powerful frame of Jamil Miller being added to the equation. Clear heads and just going through this advantage basics. Very important offside. now. And they have the advantage of free play for Bella Vista offside, inside the advantage. 22. They're lining up towards the outside. Now it's about the, all about speed and coming towards the inside. Good defense by Progress. The assistant referee uh, What's also the gets uh, tackled out. He's still fine. He's up on his feet, which is good to What's see. What's the number, Chris? 20. Well, what's good to see here is, is how they're shadowing and, and the cover defense is coming across to, to block and prevent the wing from scoring. Just give me the number oh, again. The defense is so good. They've taken even taken the AR out as well. I can't hear you. Taking one for the team. The pressure, all, all the pressure on progress now to to do, really to do well on, on with the scrum. They underneath the poles, and as you can see, uh, the, the defense is drifting across. Nice holding there, slipping through the one tackle, and then getting the ball back. Terry Groetboom, jersey number eight. He he came through that first line of defense. You want to keep the mic a little bit further from your mouth? No surprise to see this scrum now, and you can imagine that they're going to go. They're going to go for the pushover. There's no doubt about that. Five meters out, this won't be a problem if they can get their basics right. They all want to convert this opportunity. I don't I think the backs will see the ball saying. here. It's going to stay in close. Let's hope that Grootboom can uh, can control the ball a bit better. The last time, you know, the previous scrum, they were basically running with him, and uh, he lost control of the ball. So this is a five-meter scrum. Let's hope he can control it because if he can, they can surely do a push of a scrum try. Like I, like I explained to you yeah. and I explained to him now, but I'm going to have a look. Right, the previous scrum was shot out from under the feet of Terry Gretwum. Progress is props. Uh, Denigo Mullet Kellen and uh, Leroy Simpson are swapped around now. Crouch! Fine! Sit! There we go. Again, they fall in. Now, oh, surely we're going to uh, look at something more serious. They're begging for the card. Continuous infringement. Almost every scrum falls in. 
have had numerous penalties now. Yep, as you can see, the um, he was on that side, then he moved Lusset's the side feet to just, again. It just the disappears knees, from underneath him. He simply so couldn't keep up that scrum. Well, the warning is uh, very clear from referee Birkus, and you can imagine we're going to set for another scrum. On the knee and folding out. They're not interested in the three points. They've come for seven. We could clearly see uh, Leroy Simpson, who is the, who is the tight end of progress. He's come over to the loose side, um, not able to do any anchoring of the scrums at all there. I, I don't believe that uh, there's come enough pressure and support coming from the locks as well. So um, it's over. they have a bit of a break now, so maybe this gives them an opportunity to regroup get a bit this can sometimes be one of those technical injuries which is much needed as far as progress as scrum is concerned oh look at this uh, so nice yeah. to see and this is part of the uh, the easter festival and the festivities starting a long weekend in south africa and the crowd of, crowd have come out to support all the teams and uh, we've spoken we've spoken about the reach of the specific tournament how ting this year Captain. as well included Captain. the eastern cape southwestern districts the western cape just really bringing that together that rugby loving people right, and, uh, and teams coming to showcase their talents uh, here in Saldana Bay. I, I have some inside information that it, there's, there's soft, been a request from quite a few provincial sites, uh, uh, club sites throughout South Africa wanting to be to become part of this Easter tournament. So it almost feels like the good old days, the Durban club champs that we used to have almost now setting up a new base in Saldana Bay, which is great to see the injection in club rugby. I mean, we've got so many clubs in the Western Cape. It's a, it's a healthy space. So Western Province rugby doing pretty well. The Stormers, if you look at what they have accomplished, just giving all the youngsters an opportunity to say, you know what, I want to be there one day. I want to be the next Shilton von Weyck that played at this tournament to become one of the Blitzbox. And, and this is what perhaps some of these players are not aware of, you know, that they should be told before, Sit. after, tomorrow, that this is an opportunity for them. Much better scrum this by progress, but they will go off the base and they'll score. No, they won't. Mr. Beek is perfectly positioned. They're not going to like that. Thierry Groetboom thought he was over for all money. He's so surprised. He's saying you, you, you can't be serious. As you can see there, he's, he's definitely, well, oh. camera angle probably will be Referee perfectly positioned to see what was going on there. And that is that for the opening stanza in our first of four matches today. Grootboom will debate, the, they will talk long and hard about if that was a try. Grootboom said, I've, I've dotted that down. Referee Beek is perfectly positioned. He said, no, no, you didn't have control of that. And that means we will change in and I feel that progress have dodged a bullet in uh, the latter exchanges of that opening off. We're still waiting for our first try at the Transnet Saldana Super 8 Easter Festival. We've had three penalties, two to Progress, one to Bala Vista. Progress will now play into the wind. They'll change ends and three points separating these two teams. Can Bala Vista make the most of the wind in the second half? Some of the moments in uh, the first half, like I said, the boot dominated the early, early exchanges, the first 15 minutes, very messy. And finally, we had uh, points on the board. It came courtesy of uh, the scrum off from uh, Progress. Darian Edwards, he was responsible for Mid the field. first penalty. Oh, there was opportunities for Bella Vista on the attack, but uh, Progress's defense uh, just always manning up to most of the threats. Scrum time will be the big talking point at halftime. Specifically, Bella Vista, how they can make more of that. And Progress, how do they stop this well-oiled machine? This was uh, the effort from Bella Vista. Keenan Vessels stepped up to the plate. And that matriculated at Mendu Park High School. Straight in front, into the wind, but uh, no problems with the distance. Good positive strike, flags went up. And that was Bella Vista's first points ever in this tournament. They are one of three teams making their debut. Have a, an opportunity to look at it again. Back. 
you asked me earlier on what's the advantage of that wind you know if, if I took a walk on the field earlier on I would I would not be the most if I had said this could be anything between of uh, I would reckon between 12 and 15 points this was the one that uh, he put up in the air nice uh, air time and uh, finally the assistant referees agreed that that was three more points and courtesy of uh, Darian Edwards. So here's our match stats. Turnovers conceded will, will be will be concerning to uh, Bella Vista. Tackles made pretty equal. Tackles missed will be a concern both ways. 20 in total in this match. Lineouts, a couple are going astray for Bella Vista. More notably the fact that they couldn't put it in straight. And then scrums have been a bit of a nightmare for progress, especially on the Bella Vista ball. Visitors to the opponent, 22, not enough from both teams. The most of the match has been played here in the middle. Five plus phases, only one to progress. The territory is uh, even 50-50. And the position stakes, Bella Vista well favoured, but they do trail on the scoreboard. Now with the wind, you can appreciate that it's going to become slightly tougher for progress, especially if they can't find a remedy for their scrum concerns. Half time in Saldana Bay, Progress leading Bella Vista six points to three. What me is the Maya in the Saldana Bay municipality, Mr. Andrew, Mr. Andre Tutor. Mr. Tutor, tell me, what does it mean for the Saldana Bay municipality to yearly host this occasion? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, Eastern Saldana and uh, our Carifus is tradition. Well, rugby in Saldana and Easter is also tradition. So this means a tremendous amount to our municipality. As you can see, they've turned out a world-class event with the local Saldana Rugby Club. Uh, the Gears is good, uh, weather is nice and cool, and it doesn't matter what the weather do. Yeah, it's always warm when we play rugby. It's absolutely fantastic spirit. Yali, you prepare for this uh event taking place in your town what does the office have to go through to make sure everything is in order for this event to take place successfully you know this municipality has got a proud record of doing things well i was here early this morning to come and check how the team is going and man they were going like a swiss clock every man was doing what he's supposed to be doing um, they had a massive generator here to make sure that eskim don't interrupt our proceedings here but most of all, we do this for our people. We do this for the people of South Africa. We do it for the people of Saldana Bay. This is a massive financial injection for our businesses. Um, and yeah, it's just good fun. You know, our country goes through tough times, but it's times like this that we drop our hair, that we have some fun, and if we can watch rugby, what can be better than that? The Transnet Saldana Super 8 Easter Tournament is the largest amateur tournament uh, in the country, what does it mean for the municipality to host an event like that, which, which is the largest in the country? You know, uh, we're very proud. We've got an amazing team that is doing, that's pulling it off. You won't see them, they're behind the scenes. This is a seven million rand influx into our economy. So us as a municipality have a vision of a sports tourism. That is how we bring economy, job creation, and also to bring a good time and to create a platform for our players to showcase their talent and to go out there and to catch the eyes of the spotters and uh, so that their talent can be promoted but also our towns our municipality and our beautiful people here on Avescas. thank you sir thank you for your time and once again congratulations on holding this successful event thank you McNeil. Grand Cup final, so a lot at stake. The winners move closer towards their dream of lifting the cup. The losers stay active in this tournament, but they won't be in the cup competition. Our second half is underway. Bella Vista playing from right to left. Dominant scrum 
trading by three points they've got the wind at their backs and it remains to be seen what the game plan will be from progress well no game plan currently because we've got our first try in this year's edition of the tournament it's come through an intercept it looks like lorenzo boer that's gone over they out of their seats and you have to say just reward for what they have put together in the first half finally they've got a try to show for it they scored they thought they scored just before the halftime break now they do have a try on the board bella vista it is boer that's gone over for the men in white Renzo, as he is a better known product from Sierra's secondary school, responsible for our first try in 2023. Well, that's probably what they've been hoping would happen. You know, <laughs> that's exactly what they were hoping, and an intercept, excellent. Nice uh, uh, timing on getting him in, in getting him right in position. It was interesting at the halftime break. We were sitting here and uh, in into our commentary booth stepped Linston Manuels, uh, and what a nice opportunity to see him. And he spoke about the fact that there was collaboration between Boland and Western Province. First time that they had shared duties of the the referees, three from Boland and three from Western Province. So that's great to see. Nice to see uh, him as well. The conversion is not there, but more importantly, Balavista have hit the front. We are almost two minutes into the second half. It's 8 6. Well, that'll, that'll release the cat amongst the pigeons now. So let's see if, uh, if Progress can get some comeback on this. Lovely hanging kick for his forwards to get there, and it is our try scorer, Lorenzo Boer. Maybe still thinking about that intercept try. He had some wheels, responsible for the turnover. Progress, time to just settle down. It's a double knock, first one from white, second one from blue. Again, very good call that by Mr. Beer, because you can clearly see that he did lose the ball into the blue player. Blue knocked on, so it's two knocks. Can't have advantage out of that, so Progress will get the scrum. One of the, the players that's been uh, busy is uh, Darian Edwards, responsible for the kicking duties off that tee. He's the man feeding the scrum. They've used Jacobs in the forward jersey as well for some powering runs. There we go. That's a, a much better scrum. Probably their best scrum in this match oh, so far. Definitely, I mean, you can see some uh, back straighten up in that one. So it was good that they actually kept nice and tight as, as a unit. Um, you could see the, the, the wheel actually came from the Balavista side. A lot of talk in that front row. So this is going to be an interesting one for referee Bierkes because you're not allowed to put your knee on the ground. And uh, I think the tight head, somewhat lucky there for, for progress. Pressure certainly coming on that tight head side for progress. Fine. Set. Oh, look at this. Here we go again. Straight through the middle. And now on the deck. When you're off your feet, you're out of the game. You have to be on your feet. Good call again by Mr. Beckers. It's not, it's not often that you see a, a scrum disintegrating like that, that you have a front row that can actually kick the ball forward from. And as you can see, the, it, it just disintegrated. I mean, that's the, the hooker that's trying to put the ball forward. Straight through the middle. That, uh, that was an, another big statement from Bella Vista. And with the wind at their backs, they go straight back into the progress half. Three blue substitution. First time in the, uh, in, in, in the progress half that we're coming in the second half. Um, interestingly, progress very early in the second half. They're making a replacement, tight head prop uh, being replaced. And we could we know from the first half, uh, Leroy Simpson was struggling. He's sort of limping off there now, and he's been replaced by Akinen Frisla. Uh, he comes off the field, the man called Fleiss. Sackers fine, Sackers fine. Bella Vista, can they put more points on the board? Is that forward? Uh, not the best pass, that one has to say. Ideal would be uh, for, to get Duran Nassen to run onto that ball, but that was a little floater, and Nassen, all that he saw was cracked ribs. 
bailed out of that. As you can see, a nice take in the line out. The sack was also good, and then that's where things just, uh, you know, went a little awry. Uh, that was a forward pass, first of all. I think he delayed a little bit too long there. Gustav Mayer was eyeing him and, and saying, catch that, and I'm going to give you a bit of a rib tickler. Crouch. Fine. Uh, Mr. Grootboom is talking in a lot from, from the number eight. I'm sure he's hoping that he can get the ball to try and make up. Wow. First penalty scrum to progress. Shoulders lower than the hips. Hinging is the, the better referee word, and you can clearly see that as well. I think Mr. Beekers has done pretty well. It's, it's been a, a, a tough game to get flowing, and he's, he's tried to do his best, get us some running rugby. He's done very well, I must say. First 46 minutes. Most definitely. Uh, there has been uh, concerns about about the standard of the refereeing. I must say for the, for this past 46 minutes, it's been an absolute pleasure watching Mr. Bukas. So the responsibilities is back with Gideon Sarfontein. Very important line outs. Perfect, he finds perfect, his man. Perfect. It is perfect. Agree with what the referee says as well. The cutback this time. Messi hands back. It goes with Belavista. The little ball that they have had in the second half. They failed to move, make a lot more of it. And they've used, we've seen this, they've used their, their number four, Samuel Jacobs, on more than one occasion. That bulky meet to, to try and get them over the advantage line. Uh, at this stage, Belavista was waiting for him. Well, it looks like the defense definitely was waiting for him. The, the pass was a, a sublime pass. It was nice. It was lifted. All he needed to do was hold on to the pass, and unfortunately, he couldn't do it. I think his eyes were probably watching the defense coming on. Again, next scrum. Let's see if uh, Progress can do the same here. If they can hold it up. Oh, 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 oh! Then they dip straight down. Oh, yeah, I agree with Mr. Baker. Something's got to be done now. I've warned about the penalty. Yeah. Oh. It, it was due sooner or later. There was just no no other way. And um, yeah, it's just going to get worse from here. Now they will have to get somebody else. And that's Fleece. That's just come up. And he has to depart. Which means that we are now going to probably have to see Leroy Simpson coming back or hopefully. They have another front row on, on the bench as well. Well, they'll do the everything line. in their power to avoid line scrums. For the next yeah, 10 minutes, this is where you don't want to engage, engage with Bella Vista line because you're going to have to lose another middle. man to bring line on a prop. Middle. It's going to probably be the man that's just been replaced, Fleiss. But Keenan Freeslaughter, he'll say, wow, I mean, I haven't done anything wrong, but unfortunately he's the victim of continuous uh, infringements. One minute on the field, 10 minutes off. Leave his legs! So they don't have to replace the prop as yet. It only happens at scrum time, which will happen right now. And this is not, I think if you're in, in a blue jersey, you're probably going to sit and say, just pull the hamstring. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I, I think it's not a nice thing you. to say, but I think the best that progress can probably hope for is a no contest scrums. But uh, that obviously can oh, happen. Oh, that was a bit silly of him to try and do the grubber. Five blue. So five blue. Five blue is going off. Okay, it's on the Den Vic Davids and back okay, comes let's go. Fleiss. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Leroy Simpson. He has to come on because they need a prop. And the replacement prop let's currently go, sitting and thinking about why he had to receive that yellow card. So they have to sacrifice someone. Denvik Davids is coming off the field. He's going to sit next to Mr. Frieslar. It's interesting that you have to um, take your lock off. We would generally look for a smaller loose forward rather, instead of taking one of your bigger, stronger men. Fine. Well, you just have a feeling that uh, either way, Six. this is going to uh, this is going to play right into the hands of Bella Vista. They're going to lick their lips. This is pudding at Christmas. This is what's going to happen here. Straight down. They won't change this game plan. That you can be sure of. They're going to march with this scrum, and they're going to say we're going to score a, a try from inside the 22. We're not going to let this go. 
Crystal, do you want to come stand here? Oh, we're going to push the referee's hand to say if maybe we can get two players in the bin. Okay, let's go, let's end. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. This is tough, Tariq. This is where you need to dig deep. Progress will... Uh, you need to find a solution. It's not going to be easy to find it. It's probably locked away in a, in a, in a cabinet. They're going to have to go to the training field and, and sort this one out. But they're not going to be uh, too delighted that they need to go and reset and form yet another scrum. The power is going to come through from Bella Vista. Fine. Well, you know, Archie Gans is captain of the, of the pack. It's, it's now it's his duty to make sure. Wow, they've managed to get a scrum at the penalty. And then they fluff it up. Play still. So this is interesting. Is that he, he gave a free kick for an early engage. The scrum off played quickly. There was no ways that there was a 10-meter retaliation or fallback from Bella Vista. Well, as we can see, the, the penalty was due to the early push. They, they got the free kick, took a quick tap, and spilled the ball. Well, I think they were somewhat unlucky. And unfortunately, that, uh, that quick play by Edwards has resulted in turnover ball. Just hey, play the watch, play the, play the clock. Just say, so calm down. Set up a line out, and instead they're facing yet another power drive from Bella Vista. Arm out once again, penalty awarded. So, Tariq, scrum, line out, what do you do? You know, this is that time when you have to dig deep. There's just no other yeah, way. But, but yes, they, on the back foot, the one, the perhaps get one of the, the uh, bigger backs in to come and assist. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a case of knowing that you don't have anybody on your outside, but you are man short. Um, so I would, I would say that Progress needs to bring one of the one of their backs in to come uh, help uh, prop up the the, the pack. Yeah, no surprise. Well, the, the backs will say, Tariq, you know what, it's pointless coming to defend in there. We're not going to do anything. It's, we're not going to add too much stability to, to a scrum that's going backwards at speed. The unfortunate thing is that, that you know, it's in situations like this where players get injured, and which is what you want to avoid as well. So the yellow card here, yes, it, it does, it penalizes you, but it also, it has negative, negative uh, uh, outcomes as well. Now what is Progress going to do this side? They still haven't brought in an extra player from, from the backs. Fine. Because as far as this is concerned, I don't think Sit. the ball is going to go past further than the fly. We'll oh, just bring oh, it back to, oh, to play oh, into oh, the forwards all the oh, time. Oh, oh, Here we go, more advantage. This time he does take it out because it's a, a free play. <laughs> Penalty. Card, second card. Yeah, they forward the contest. No, it's not what you would like to see, but uh, this is what it is. Penalty after penalty after penalty at scrum time. Trinico Kilian is the latest to uh, join his partner on the bench. Dean and Frieslot already sitting there. So the referee now asking a valid question. If there's no props, um, they're going to get their wish. They're going to have uncontested scrums. You have to have recognized okay, props no, as part of the scrum. So if they're going to probably say, whoever we have that is a prop, go to the change room. You're not here. Let's just okay, quickly clear that prop, threat. It's, it's a penalty. It's not a scrum yet. <laughs> Holding out to the contest again. Well, it's nearly time for Frisla to come back. Um, are they going to go for line out? So now I ask you why? Why, why go line out if you've got a two man advantage at scrum time with a powerful scrum? Why go line out? Now that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe they have something up their sleeves in the line out. So, you know, a good drive from here can also perhaps do a better job than a scrum, than a scrum drive. And that's what they in are going to see now. They are ex ex going to do exactly Come that. Get out there. And here they go. And they're going to go over straight and easy. More reward for forward domination from Bella Vista. They score their second try of the afternoon. 
Well, hats off to whoever called the line out because, as I said, you can plutter on, on the scrums, but you cannot pick the ball up. That's the unfortunate thing. And as you could see, a nice control, nice catch in the, in the air, nice control. They kept it nice and tight. Again, as you can see, all the blue jerseys splintering up, and then it's just a case of bulldozing it over and scoring it. So, yeah, it is. Nice. Chesville Miller, he started that line out with the throw, it was uh, well executed. And he's also the recipient of that try. It is the second one for Bella Vista. Mm. And now a bit of daylight as well, Tariq. Seven points of difference. That means that Progress needs to convert the try as it stands right now to level matters. And you have to say this is exactly the way that's played out. Bella Vista, full value for their lead. And uh, this is now all about damage control for progress because they've played with 13 currently they want to avoid okay, scrums at all home. costs with the win from the touchline difficult kick sends it upstairs okay, hanging um, and off minutes, it goes just go off to the right 13-6 in favor of Bella Vista tournament debutants at the Saldana Easter Festival as you can see nice I bring it down you. good binding uh, right at the back of the, of the drive and then it's just a case of bulldozing, driving it over. Nice score. They will be celebrating in Sierras. Over. Almost ran on to that. The 8th man Terry Kruidboom. Instead of this progress, they get rare opportunity with a ball in hand. They haven't seen a lot of that advantage in the second half. Oh, and they've got advantage as well. This will be good for them. Free play, which they can use. It's Brian Stainder. Hasn't seen a lot of the ball in the second period, as is Tackle most players right. in blue jerseys. Edwards has tried valiantly advantage this afternoon, and now there's offside advantage. So two offside advantages being played to the men in blue. I'll keep it tight. Get out, White! Jacobs, he'll pick and drive. The progress fans getting pretty vocal on the stands. You can just hear them in song and saying, come on. Let's go, progress. Let's go. Oh, that was a third advantage. If you just heard, he said six offside. So that's three. And now another yellow card has been produced. Continuous infringement, three offsides in a row. And that means that uh, it looks like our try scorer, uh, one of our try scorers in any case, is going off the field. Lorenzo Boer has been yellow carded. No choice there. He gave the ref absolutely no choice. Had to be done. Had to be done in, in keeping the consistency. And this will be good for progress because now hopefully they can come back from here. What are they going to do? Oh, they have a man down. And that looks like the tight head prop. Well, I got Mr. Leroy, Leroy Simpson. Let's hope it's not too... And this is what I was saying earlier on, you know, from um, being hammered like that in the scrums. It's definitely no, not good for you. 14 blow. 14 blow. Well, he shakes his head, but you have to agree with uh, Mr. Birkus. It's uh, three continuous infringements at the same in the same play for offside play, and he had no choice. I mean, it's just uh, one of those things. Well, Leroy uh, Frischlag would say the same. He was also the recipient of uh, a yellow card. Probably could say the same thing that I'm. I'm not a guilty party. But due to the consistency there of, of, of infringements, ref had no other option. He looks up, he sees who's with the guilty party at that stage. Hence the reason you get the yellow card. multi sure Crusaders against yeah. Tigerberg. That is our next kickoff at 25 to 6. Crusaders, a, a very familiar rugby branded name across the world, not only in South Africa, but uh, also at this festival. So great to see the Crusaders back at the Saldana Festival. In the meantime, it's uh, still tough times for Leroy Simpson. He's uh, not feeling very happy with life at the moment. Stretcher. And they stretcher. need a stretcher as well. So this will take some time to clear. Stretcher. Well, this okay, will certainly lay, create a bit lay. of a, a headache the for trail. the coaching staff, for oh, Elroy Lichtman. Oh, he looks out of it. And just an opportunity to enjoy the tries. This was the opening try of uh, the festival. It came from the man that's currently seated next to the field with a yellow card, Lorenzo Boer. 
opening the try count this afternoon and there are no surprises with this more and this forward pack that has been dominating throughout the course of this match bowering over and it was the hooker that was credited with the try cheers will miller Bellavista's second try scorer that is the two tries that we have seen the rest of the points have come from the boots progress through uh, two penalties that's the six points that they have accounted uh, darian edwards responsible for those and then we've also seen uh, uh, Keenan Vessels with the penalty and a conversion. So this will take some uh, time to clear. They're concerned about the neck area, so they need a, a neck brace and no a stretcher. In the meantime, we're also seeing that uh, Darshan Erasmus has been called off the field for uh, Bella Vista, so they'll send on a replacement for him. Well, matches to come on Saturday, a match for progress in material, win or lose, they will play on Saturday, they will also play on Monday. So this will, uh, this, this is not what you want to see, having travelled all this way and then uh, losing one of one of your, your players. Well, there he still looks fine, we'll see if we can find out what happened to him. riding that chariot did he get a, a bit of an elbow accidental elbow from from his blow own guard, teammate yeah, blow guard. i think this is probably compounded by the fact way. that you know they they've been hammered in the scrum i i, I can i can very well as a forward i can very well imagine what he's what he's been through in this last 50 odd minutes the, the, the extreme pressure he's taken in the scrums and it's it's quite possible he may have just it may, it may have been hurt in one of those scrums and now it's just been aggravated further. So we wish him well and uh, let's hope it's not too serious that he'll be able to come back on, on Saturday. Some of uh, the crowd that have uh, moved in, it's the end of a work week, it's a long weekend, time to sit back, relax, kick off the shoes and enjoy some family time and uh, what a better place to do it in South Good Bay, the next to the rugby field yes it's that type of weather it's That's autumn funny. it's uh, jerseys and jackets but uh, there's great festivities and nice song and dance you can just hear everything building up towards Saldana Bay taking That's the field later guard, tonight yeah. what a game that is going that to be against the debutants Raiders the all the way there from Gauteng don't know what to expect from them as yet but uh, what you can expect from Saldana Bay is, is they're going to play for their fans they're going to play for for the occasion and they want to be uh, come semi-final Saturday well that's the thing the Raiders is the the unknown uh, quantity and of, of the tournament nobody knows anything about them um, as i spoke to some of the uh, coaches of progress and ballet vista asked him do you know anything about the opposition only thing they could say is they managed to get some of the you know some footage of training and, and one or two matches um but the raiders saldana game obviously this stand and this area is going to be packed excitement late night it's going to be dark it's going to be cold the wind might be strong but guess what the atmosphere is going to be sizzling as it always does privilege to be back in Saldana for what has become a, a real highlight on the rugby calendar so much has gone into this tournament over time and the way it's developed over time you can clearly see that it's going to the next level well done to the organizers Mr. Bertram Fraghom and his committee that have uh, put in a lot of work to take it to where it is today and the addition of netball as well that if you are in the Saldana Bay area and, and you don't quite fancy the rugby but you want to have a, a look at the netball girls you most welcome to come and uh, see what the first edition holds because there'll be 16 participating teams saturday and monday full program so we, we, we are really seeing this uh, tournament develop and this opportunity develop as we go through time and, and hopefully who knows maybe even a, a 16 competition one day Tariq. We are currently at eight teams, but you never know. We could even have two fields. Because we've got the field on the, on the right-hand side as well. We have a B-field opportunity. So just a future vision. Hopefully we can just see this continue to go. Tira, Tigerberg. The Tira is here. They are here. So looking forward to what they are going to bring uh, from Cape Town. Now they will add to the festivities. Sultana Tour 2023. Nice t-shirts as well for the occasion. You know much about them, Tariq? Well, the only thing that I know about them is that they, they absolutely love running with the ball. So I'm hoping that, you know, we'll, we'll get that spirit. 
although this is a tough tournament you know this is not the type of tournament that you can get you have time to settle in it's a knockout you have to bring your best a game on day one it's as simple as that in fact as I spoke earlier to the coaches, your first game is probably the most important game because that sets the platform for the entire tournament. Our thoughts with Leroy Simpson. He's uh, being carried off for uh, progress. was injured and uh, the medical staff looking after his well-being. So our thoughts with him. I hope that he also recovers quickly. Every precaution being taken to make sure that he's safe player safety you referred to it earlier as well Tariq and we've got uh, good medical personnel next to the field to look after the players well-being I don't think one can question the medical abilities of, of, of the staff what I do question though is the fact whether progress will be able to withstand the next scrum they still have one of their front or forwards in, in, in on, on the bin which uh, obviously just makes it so much more difficult so the, the yellow card for Keenan Frieslar has elapsed. So now it's 14 against 14. Kilian in the bin for Progress. And then also uh, Lorenzo Bood for Bella Vista. In the meantime, have indicated polls. No surprise in that department because uh, Darian Edwards has an opportunity from straight in front to pull back three points. And this is very important because if they do score a try in the final exchanges that'll give them the w which they desperately need that is their first points of the second half it's come through another edwards penalty he's third of the afternoon but it's still bella vista leading this one by 13 points to nine as we approach the hour mark last time they scored was in the 14th minute so it's taken them a, a good 40 odd minute period to get points on the board again well, the one thing that will be that will be noticeable to all the other teams is, you know, Darian obviously has a deadly boot on his on him, and then it'll be wise to not let him get too close in terms of giving away penalties. Easily fielded by Progress, and now there's a, a gap opening up. Lovely step onto the inside, another step. Now he needs the support. Is this the opportunity that Progress has wanted? Straight back towards the 22. Lovely run by uh, Kino Bueta. Yeah. All about the hands now. They've created the overlap. That ball doesn't stick. Oh, how unfortunate. Lovely work from inside their own 22. Two passes. Kiano Bueta went on a run. And then, unfortunately, it fell apart. How sad and how exciting was this? I mean, he well balanced runner as you can see having holding the ball now he's changing the ball with two hands and down and down then down, eh? again nice cleaning up yes oh. colonel hendricks drop ball very important one there from the full back but one thing that i heard the referee say remember it's uncontested scrums that is music to the ears of progress of course, there's no more front row play. The one front row player is on the bench. The other one was carried off on the stretcher. No more front row replacement, so they can't have a contested scrum. And that is going to play into the hands of Progress. Can he uh, make up for his earlier mistake? Hendricks, well, he only feeds it off to uh, his teammate. Inside the half. Progress will sense an opportunity here. They're going to avoid those uh, contact sessions at scrum time. You don't want to kick ball away, not there. That's... Uh, somewhat uh, makes messy that execution and decision making from Gideon Sarfontein not, not up to standard now it's kicked directly into touch so progress will get that ball back they need to look after the ball they haven't had a lot of it and if they are to to win this match position will be key by Bella Vista that kick was just such a poor kick I mean they they were on, okay, on the Julie, recovery so getting the back contested. they have a massive win behind the back all he needed to do was just get the ball just over the back so we just heard the referee say 7 5 and 14 so so Francois contested. Adam Lorenzo Juma and Ruan Manuel they've all been replaced on the Bella Vista side jersey number 23 John Lee Skippers He's a, a recognized center. And also with Dorenko <laughs> Kilian coming back onto the field, that means contested scrums will be back because the recognized prop oh. is back on the field. And Keenan Frieslot is in jersey number 17. He's still in a stationary position. He hasn't moved since that ball was uh, thrown in. 
kan ons gaan. Oh, he's probably glad that the, that the ref stopped because that ball was quite skewed. Let's go. I've, I have yep. yet to see any shortened lineouts. I would have expected or thought that with this massive wind that you know some of the teams would think it would probably be a bit better to go Perfect. for shorter lineouts. Over the they 15. do go to the back and, and it's well over the executed. Back it's over the 15. So play on says uh, Mr. Biekers. Had to go and fetch the ball. Does well to uh, straighten the line Zachel, and, and retain position. Kurti Daisel. Edwards. Now where do they go? Better the hands this by Hendricks. Butterfingers, the previous time he touched the ball in an attacking play. Edwards will go towards the left. Oh, the big bulky run came from Gideon Sarfontein. He couldn't control it, so it's straight back to Bella Vista. Substitute oh, on the field is Marco Marnus in jersey number 21. Advantage over! Advantage called over as Keenan Vessels kicks it away. Here come Progress, lovely inside out again. He's got some wheels. The left wing from Progress. All about position and all about execution. Lindsay Portgieter with a great run for Progress. Edwards, he'll want someone to run onto the ball. Finds a, a willing recipient that is that self-same Kilian who's just returned Step. from his yellow card. Sarfontaine in there as well to offer his assistance. Yeah. The runner is the outside center, Daisel again, full of running. Much better play from progress, continuity also very good as David take it, takes it into the contact. Edwards with that loopy pass. The double up is back on towards the inside. Whoa, was that? Hands on the deck. The referee says we'll go back, penalty advantage, offside play almost straight in front. There is a great opportunity, much better play, continuity as well for progress. They've gone phase after phase after phase, and as you can see, they've literally worked the ball right from their own half. As you can see, there's nice and wide. Here again, I think the, the wing should perhaps have stayed out wide, and um, when he went down, he basically just left the ball. So this time they say we're not going to go for post. Edwards will not have a kick. We're going to attack. There we Bella Vista have been very strong. We're going to take it. We're going to take the fight back up front. See if we can maneuver our way over the try line. They need a try. A try will be enough for the lead. Denvik Davids. Less than five meters from that goal line. Edwards has options left and right. Middle of the field. Good position for the blue machine to attack. Jackler needs to get out there. Referee Biekes is happy. Still in position. Progress. Runners coming from all Take avenues. Again, good hands by Fredericks. It opens up and finally the try does come. A well-deserved Lindsay Portgieter. Oh, the Brayton Pulser. Portgieter, what a try. What a moment to strike. And the extras of the backflip, Lindsay Portgieter. He's been good in the second half. He's had good ball on attack, and now finally it opens up out wide. They're on their feet. They love it. Worth seeing that celebration again. Well, as you can see now, uh, they definitely look much more the enterprise with ball in hand. Uh, the, the, the set phases, obviously, where they struggle. Well, just look at that. Brayton, I think you need to have a look at that again, my man. <laughs> this. They were really impressive progress with ball in hand. Running, it, it definitely, I, I think, it, it looked much more natural in, in terms of a players backs interlinking between backs and forwards. So this is obviously, you know, a running side that does well when they have ball in hand. Struggle a bit with the with the lineup, but then again, both sides struggling, struggling with because of the the wind. Um, but it's just an absolute pleasure this last few minutes watching progress with ball in hand. It sets it up beautifully for the final moments of this match. Who is going to take the win? 14-13 with the conversion to come. That could make it 16-13, which will mean that a penalty will draw it from Bella Vista side, which means we're going to extra time. And the flags go up. 16-13. Good conversion under pressure. Worth seeing that again. Oh, that's a, a good execution. Eight out of ten, Tariq. Eight out of ten for the for the backflip. Well, he went a little bit skew in the beginning, so probably seven and a half. 15, Tough judge, 15 Tariq. Blow. Britain. 
15 blue. So that's uh, Colonel Hendricks that's being replaced. We just saw Romeo van Heerden running onto the pitch in Jersey 21. There he is. 16-13. Oh, this game has changed. Drag, drag. Oh, look at the errors come in. He said, go back, you in Leo. front of the kicker. In front of the kicker. Option. What do you want? No, no, no. Just in front of the kicker. You want the scrum or is it? That's, scrum. that's brilliant. What do you want? Penalty. Definitely not a scrum. So you can't get a penalty for, for someone being in front of the kicker at, at kickoff. So they have actually asked for the scrum. Archie Khan, that was good. That was a good value. I would have also wanted the penalty. Archie, avoid scrums at all costs. Sevilla. Contested. Contested scrums. Not what you want to hear if you're in a blue jersey. But they have some momentum and they would see the scoreboard pressure. They would get some self-belief. Can they produce one good powerful scrum or just some stability so they can hook the ball, get it to the eighth man and pick it up and run? There's your mark, Chess. That's your mark. Play that. Thank you. You know, in a situation like this, this is your channel one quick Crouch. strike that you have, will probably have to look at. Scr uh, number eight waiting for the ball Nine. at the back to get it out as soon as possible. Sit. Take all that pressure off everybody else. They've locked nicely, but there is uh, the pressure coming from Bella Vista. All Credit right. to Marco Manas. He oh, was there oh, and he was making it solid. very difficult. That was solid. Holding on. Holding on there. Australian Nogi. 14 white. Massive moment for Marco Manas. 14. 14 Good. is Ron Manuel. He's uh, day is something of the past being replaced. Elron McLeod comes in onto the field. Product of RTS Draws Day. Also good, Johan, of the coaches to start rotating people, give them a bit of a break. I mean, it's been a tough match so far, physical, and uh, lots of injuries we've seen. So it's good to, to use up your entire bench and give each, each and everyone a, a, a run and get them a feel to experience the tournament as well. Nine minutes left. Marco Manis in a, a different colour short than the rest of his teammates. Fine. Also has Set. the blue socks. Better scrum. Look at that scrum from progress. Yes, Clever play to say Evans. that we can affect the tackle. So knee on the ground. Tackle means you've got to release. Manis is not uh, in a hurry at this stage. I'll try and get over the advantage line. Manus will get it again. Somewhat slow to arrive. That's high and dangerous and unnecessary. And progress with a three-point lead. They've given away an opportunity at field position. Dangerous. Number four is uh, Mr. Jacob Samuel Jacobs. Big Ben, his nickname. Four, dangerous. There is Big Ben. With the wind, it's uh, not needed at this stage from progress. Never needed. High tackles never needed on a rugby field, but especially in, in this environment now, three-point advantage. You don't want to give Bella Vista an opportunity to set up shop inside the 22. They're going to launch this kick, and they will move towards the 22. Not there yet, but good attacking platform nonetheless for Bella Vista. It's been close. 16-13, a couple of storylines developing throughout the course of the afternoon. Big, powerful, bulky forwards from Bella Vista in their first Transnet Easter Festival tournament. Debutants hitting the ground running, building up a lead, progress coming back. Old hands, experienced hands, getting them back into this context. Now, on the knife edge, three points the difference as uh, they feed a, a shortened variation no, through Cheswell Miller. All is out, yeah. Arnis, all out, and referee now says as van Seyer, hand up. knocked from his hand. As van number four's hand up, I clap him up. Four's hand again. It's uh, Samuel Jacobs. He was penalised oh, for the high tackle. As van blauw hand up. There's a comment. Up clap. There's a comment. And geslagen. That's a good explanation. Not a charge down. Okay, so let's have a look at this. There we go, yeah, from his hand and then onto the foot. Good call again, Mr. Vekas. Tackle counts much higher on the Bella Vista side, but also the tackles missed, unfortunately. Not the stat that you want in your favor. 21 missed tackles. Uh, I have a feeling that um, 
the public holiday or the race day is going to be Fine. on the training field and it's going to be tackling bags. Sit. In all, in all likelihood, most of those uh, missed tackles came in the second half, uh, if one looks at the way that progress is running with the ball. Storyline continues throughout what we've seen throughout the match. This time the advantage being played by the referee. None will be coming, so back we go for the penalty. Wheeling the scrum. So, with the wind, three points the difference. Time running out. What do you do, Tariq? Do you go yeah, for getting teams on level terms? The answer I can already give you because they're not even looking at the balls. Time, uh, time check. Uh, I, I don't think they had any choice. They had to go. They had to go. It's an uh, interesting Sis phase of the, of, of the game. Blow. They have about uh, six, seven and minutes left. Blow socks. Now it could be, could be the decider in terms of what happens here. 6 and 12 blue being called off, Michael DeForce and Regan Rhodes. They are departing the scene and they're going to be asked to defend right off the bat. Throwing has been good by Miller this afternoon. He's saying, Ref, you haven't given me the all clear. Let's go. Nice uh, tactical play. Cheswell Miller very alert to what is happening in front of him. Where does he play? Back or front? Goes towards the front, uncontested by progress. And they say this is the weapon. This is where they need to strike. Yeah. They're going to regroup, bring in uh, everyone that isn't part of uh, the line out, and they'll get the advantage. So another free play for Bella Vista. Can they steal it at the death? Everyone in there, barking oh, orders, oh, trying to set oh. up pods. It does break away, but that man was uh, not allowed to play from there. The referee says side entry at the mall. More concerns for progress and uh, their captain specifically Archie Hans. On the line's end. Just questioning the angles there, but uh, quite right again, Mr. Beckers. Yes, sir. 16-13, five meters out, attacking okay, line out for Bella Vista. Debutants at this year's Saldana Festival. Can they leave the field with a victory in their first outing? Go through to the semi-finals of the cup on Saturday. That remains to be seen. First, they have to take care of the line out, which no one jumps to specifically. Yeah. All under pressure. Good no defense from uh, Progress. No hands is the call from Mr. Beck. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's set up by Manus. He brings in some of his big runners. Where do they go to? Where do they strike? Where do they see the opportunity in this Progress defense? No! No! Manus still staying off it as uh, the pickup comes from Wesley Yonkers. Who's going to be the hero this afternoon? Jessel Miller takes a run. Keep stepping, keep He's stepping, been very busy, very, very good player for Bella Vista as well. In, in the Tackle! need to try and get this uh, victory this afternoon. Manus will move the ball yep. off to uh, Keenan Vessels. Tackle now, Just short. Again, asked stepping, for that uh, hands off the ball. He's been carried over the line. What does the referee say? He says penalty for a double movement. Yes, near. He's on his knee and then he thought he was over for all money, and then he had another go at the line, which you're not allowed to do. Great pressure relief this for progress and credit Tariq to their defensive system. Oh, it's, it's been touch and go. It's been touch and go, but good defense. And yes, you could see knees on the ground there, and then he went up. There was no relief, release of the ball. He took a second chance, got penalized for it. Team has to suffer now. Needs to kick this out and he does that. That's the first box tick. Next one is secure the line out. Very important throw this for Gideon Sarfontein. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get in, let's get in. So final analysis at the end will be interesting. Tariq, I know you don't want to play for a draw, but they had an opportunity to kick and maybe get the return, the kickoff and then launch back. Oh, that's a, a bit of a messy line out for progress. They'll be very lucky to, oh, not only retain possession, but get the penalty to boot. Now they'll slow it up right down. Take all the seconds that you can. Time is running out on the clock. 16 13, three point game. Bella Vista saying, come on, guys, come on, we need to be better. Our discipline needs to improve if we have any chance to win this game. Progress saying, we don't care where it comes from. Slow down the game, see out uh, the, the, the clock and then uh, take the win this afternoon. Uh, Bella Vista have given a, a great account of themselves. They're here to, to play with the big teams. 
and also announce their presence but, 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 at but, the John Snit Saldana Bay Easter Festival. Another big one, this for Kidio and Sanford. Yeah. That will say your safety ball, Tariq, is your, your two ball. Is this where he's going to play? Stay on the mark. They, they haven't gone two right. yet. It's Mark all what? been four and at the back, so which is surprising me. Mark Let's see if he's going to change it now. It's amazing the change of events, how it has changed. In, the, in fact, the game has taken a, a turn for the exactly the opposite. Well, the siren has gone off in the background. He kicks it out. Now the line out was not straight. They won't have time for the scrum. Would you believe it? Progress have escaped through the back door. Bella Vista dominated up front, they dominated the, the scrums, they had the wind at their backs in the second half, they took the lead, they maintained that lead for a good portion of the match, but ultimately progress came back and they struck when it mattered most. What a start to our Transnet Saldana Super 8 Easter Festival. Can you believe we've got three more of these to come, Tariq? I don't know our nerves, what our nerves will be like at the end of it all with Saldana Bay, the host, still to take the field. But this has been a great advertisement for the tournament. Shaky start, first 15 minutes, really struggled to get things going. Credit to Mr. Beck as the referee, the way he tried to get the, the, the game on the go. And ultimately, a couple of tries from uh, Bella Vista gave them the lead. But uh, Lindsay Potgieter will be celebrated this afternoon. He was the man that rounded off the scoring, a backflip to boost. We gave him a, a seven and a half out of 10, but he's, uh, his mates will give him a 10 out of 10. This has been enough for a 16-13 victory in favor of progress. Some of the tries that we saw this afternoon that we uh, speak about. This was the first from Lorenzo Boot. He also found himself in hot water, had a yellow card, so he had to serve some time next to the field. But that was a very important strike. It gave Bella Vista the lead. This is uh, through an intercept try, ran away, ultimately made it slightly more difficult on the conversion kick, but he was uh, pretty happy with, with life. And then this uh, forward pack just completely dominated this afternoon. And they will ask themselves, how did we not managed to win this game with so much forward dominance how did we get onto onto the losing side of this fixture this is uh, where the hooker Cheswell Miller went over also a pretty easy try the sec secure line out off the top from Ricardo Baikis and then it was uh, Cheswell Miller he was just riding along and uh, ultimately just had to dive over that's the the trend of modern day rugby the hooker getting the try but this is Lindsay Pothieter's moment running around to make the conversion slightly easier and then the Brayton Pulser boom seven and a half out of ten because he didn't uh, have a perfect landing but it didn't matter about the celebration it was all about the five pointer in the context of the match to make sure that progress got their noses in front and ultimately flipped out of this game with a 16-13 win some of our match stats I guess the, both coaches will have areas to work at, especially in that tackle miss department. 21 on Bella Vista's side. You'd probably say that that's part of the reason that they fell three points short in this match. Lineouts didn't go according to plan. The win played a factor as well. Scrums was uh, pretty solid from Bella Vista's side. I think that's where one area that they will take off and say that that gets a green box. But there are certain areas that they will go back to the training field and say we, we can be better and uh, turning over that forward dominance into points on the scoreboard because that's ultimately where you are going to win and lose the game possession 55 percent to bella vista but the red bar at the top is what matters and that says that progress are successful in their first outing 16 points to 13 five plus phases they created that four times and that ultimately assisted their cause as well 16 13 a good start for progress we are what a match what a match we just witnessed Progress walking away with a W. What me now is the losing vice captains, captain Jared Manas. Jared, not the result you guys wanted, but moving on to Saturday, how do you guys prepare for the match that is coming Saturday? Yeah, just first of all, um, glory to God for this opportunity to be here. Um, yeah, utterly disappointed to say the least. Um, we know what we got in ourselves and we backed ourselves, but. Um, Credit to Progress, really, they came out guns blazing and we couldn't just fold under pressure. So, yeah, credit to them. We're just going to go back to the basics, uh, look at the drawing board, see what we've done and the boxes we didn't tick and come out stronger Saturday. Yeah, you guys dominated, your forwards dominated the uh, whole part of the game, but just couldn't turn it out over into points. 
What is one of the taking points you are taking out of this match? Yeah, um, look, our strong boys, uh, our lineouts, malls, scrums, really the forwards did their job today. We couldn't execute um, our, on the back, but uh, it's part of the game to say the least. So we're still going to believe in them, still going to believe in our pattern and just come back stronger. Thank you, Jared. Um, best of luck for Saturday. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. Next up is the winning captain, Archie Hans. Archie, first of all, congratulations. The W guys wanted. How does it sit in the camp? Uh, thanks, thanks, first of all, for everyone who came out to watch us. And the people came from PE to you, from Utnik, to come and support us. Uh, thank you, Sadana, for hosting us, first of all. Uh, the W in the camp is something that we came out here for. So it's not an easy ride to ride 12 to 14 hours from Utnik to Tazana. So the sacrifices the guys put in. So the only thing we came here, it's only the W, but we know it's going to be hard and it's going to be difficulties. So we had to deal with the uh, conditions and the uh, weather. So thanks for Bella Vista for a great game. It was really a great and intensive game. Saturday is waiting on you guys. It is the move on to the cup. How do you guys prepare? Uh, as we said last night and this morning, we're going to take it game by game. Uh, Saturday will be a different ball game and the weather will be surely different from today. So Saturday is up to Saturday. Thank you, Archie. Best of luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Oh, thank you for uh, that interview, McNeil Grant, getting the thoughts of the two camps. Next up, it's Multishore Crusaders against Tigerberg. <laughs> 